Hi, good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening. Ngayon po ang ating pong itatakil sa Firm TV are the top 10 most common job interview questions. Pero sisikapin ko po na yung 10 questions na ito ay magbibigyan natin ng sagot. Based from my personal experience, I would answer it and I would share it to you guys kung ano po yung mga best answers or good answers po na nagamit ko uh, sa aking trabaho sa PPO industry or sa call center um, industry. So, ayun po, um, isa-isahin po natin. Uh, again, disclaimer po, I'm not saying na applicable po ito sa lahat ng industry or sa lahat ng uh, applications nyo kapag kayo nag-look for a job. Again, just to specify, this is actually um, uh, being used or nagamit ko pala sa pag-apply ko sa call center um, industry. Okay? Let's start with number one. What are your weaknesses? Please do not... Um, uh, do not answer it or do not say to the interviewers na your one of your weaknesses is your family or in so on. Kasi pag sinabi natin pamilya ang isa sa kahinaan natin, uh, the interviewer would use that to um, ask you follow-up question. Kung uh, paano kung papipiliin ka between your family and the job, what would you choose? Since yun yung weakness mo. So again, uh, wag tayong um, sasagot that it's something na very emotional tayo and something that, that very, you know, uh, to dive deep in sa ating personal life and so on. One good example to answer this question is, um, it's kind um, I'm, it's kind of hard for me to, um, to um, um, I tend to talk fast when I'm getting nervous. Ayan, parang pag nanerbis ka, parang dun ka mabilis magsalita or in, or in the receiver or we're in someone that you are talking with we're, um, can understand what you're saying since you're, you tend to talk fast or something like that. Parang ganon. So you can say that. Um, kasi lagi natin i-make sure kapag witnesses this, uh, pag witnesses natin, something that are workable. Something na pwedeng mag, mag turn into uh, a positive thing. So, yung pag sinabi mong, um, you tend to talk fast when you're getting nervous, that you have to do a follow-up answer on that. This is how you deliver it. This is just for example. Um, one of my weaknesses is, uh, I tend to talk fast when I'm getting nervous, but I'm trying to work on it by just watching some tips on YouTube and how can I manage uh, the way I speak, the way I tend to compose myself, the way I deliver something to others. So, this is something that it's uh, workable for me. All right, that's it. That's it. That's how you answer it. Uh, pwede rin natin gamitin is um, parang um, uh, parang uh, mahina ka sa pag-memorize ng parang it parang ihirapan ka mag-memorize ng mga long details or codes and so on. Parang, parang <coughs> it's kind of hard for you to memorize some of technical codes or something like that. That is something that is workable. So, you can actually, palagi mo dapat, pala, palagi ka dapat mag-follow up ng ideas kung ano ang ginagawa mo para mag-work or para, para, para mag-work yung isa sa mga weaknesses mo. So, regarding on the memorization, what, what you're doing is that every day you tend to memorize, you're trying to practice to memorize some of the complicated codes just to practice your brain cells and so on. Okay? That's it. Again, lagi po natin tandaan pag sa weaknesses, something that are workable, that is related to your personal attributes, okay? Or personal uh, things in life. Alright, so the second question is about um, um, why should... Uh, ito kasi mga questions sa tiyos kasi guys, kinuha ko, sa, kinuha ko ito sa Google para meron tayong reference. Sige, pili tayo dito. Pa, pag palagi kayong pinaparate ng interviewer na how would you rate your communication skills how would you rate your typing skills how would you rate if you're given a chance that you're gonna rate your um, um, your uh, thinking capacity skills analytical skills you have to make sure if it's if given that meron kayong 1 to 10 10 is the highest 1 is the lowest you have to make sure that it's gonna be between only 2 um, 7, 8 or 9 Pero madalas, based from my experience, it should be 8 or 9 or something like that. Do not answer it as perfect, okay? 
because again guys, merong mga pananaw ang mga calls on our interviewers that there should always be a room for improvement. Parang there is no such perfect thing pag nag apply ka pala. Okay? The tip is, you have to fake it till you make it. But I'm not saying that all of the information that you would answer to them are not the real um, information that you have. No, it should be, um, it should be, dapat din, um, may mga totoo din, dapat totoo din, yung sinasabi kong fake it till you make it, um, parang you have to, to fake how you deliver your answers. Parang you have to sound like you're confident. Enough. Enough. Okay? So, ganun yun. Aray, ang kate. Uh, so, yun. Where are you goes? Where do you work? Work here. Hala na wala na kung saan na. Si ka ano na nga tayo next tayo sa move on. Move on tayo sa pani bago question. Um question then is um yun yun palay tips ko lang pala sa inyo tips yun about sa pag pinaparite about your para sa uh, pag pinaparite yung about sa sarili niyo kaya na yung skills and so on. Again, it's not technically that you have to answer the question as fast as you can. As long as you were able, uh, as long as you can deliver your answer in a clearly manner, that's that's gonna be fine. Okay, as long as they would understand your answer, it does not require um na sobrang galing natin mag English because ako I admit na may mga grammatical ako or hindi naman ako ganon talaga kagaling mag English when it comes to grammatical structures and so on. Um, pag pinag ano naman kayo pag sinabi pag tinanong naman na previous job. Ito yung isa sa pinakamahirap sagutin, lalo na sa may mga taong uh, wala pang, uh, may mga experience sa job. Kasi kapag wala ka pang experience, that's fine. Because hindi ito applicable kapag wala ka pang experience doon sa, wala ka pang previous job experience. Maybe may mga interviewer na tatangin na previous OJT experience and so on. But since this, uh, the question is why did you live, so it means that it's something that is related to your previous job. Again, you have to make sure that ang sagot niyo ay hindi sisirain yung dating company niyo at hindi rin uh, mag mag uh, tutukoy sa bad habit niyo. Same answer lang tayo. Um, example, um, kapag um, ay pag tinanong yan, it's either pwede natin sagutin na we were let go by the company or institution since um, there are some reasons why you, we were let go. It's either the, uh, the specific department that we're working with are magkuklose na or magkuklose na ito. Maybe um, they need to remove um, not tenured uh, employees and so on. Pwede natin sabihin yun. We were let go by the company because um, the company is uh, hello? Ba't mo sira yung background dati? Pwede, pwede natin sagutin yun na parang we were let go by the company kasi um, because uh, the, the specific department that we're working with um, is about to close. That's why since um, since that is actually happening, they need to remove um, some of the employees or employees that are not yet tenured in the company. And I'm part of that. Pwede sabi natin gano'n that. And I'm part of that. Then, sabay natin, pwede natin support na ng idea. But, we were given by the company an opportunity to wait. We'll, they'll look for another department that they could endorse us. But again, um, they were not able to provide us any specific schedule uh, to when we will be endorsed to another department. So, with that being said, um, since we're trying to be practical right now, we're trying to um, to have a financial source, I decided not to wait in a floating schedule that they provided with me. And uh, they actually uh, they actually told us that it's up to us if we we will wait or we will look for another job in other industry. And on. Uh, pwede rin na... Uh, Pwede rin, pwede rin tayo sa personal matters or personal reasons. Or maybe, pwede natin sabihin na during that time, I had to go back in the province to take care of my family and so on. 
Tapos pwede mo nang dagdag-dagdagan doon. I had to take care of my mom, I had to take care of my of my siblings and so on during that time. And then pwede mong dahil noon, dahil sinagot mo yan, dapat may follow-up answer ka rin na um, since everything is all set now, I already have my relatives who are taking care of my family there in the province. I decided to uh, go back here in Manila to look for a job here in the call center industry. Again. Okay? So it's 10.24 now. Again, guys, kulang pa po ito. I'm so sorry for taking it so long. Um, pag gusto niyo pong um, ano pang mga tanong na gusto niyo magbigyan lina for the application or job na kaya ko pang ibigay sa inyo, based from my personal experience, you can actually leave your comments below. Okay? Goodbye, everyone, and thank you for watching Fern TV. Please do not forget to click uh, the notification bell for YouTube bell for you to get updated on the, my future uploads. And also, click subscribe. Bye-bye!